Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, I will be testing if we can salvage the components from destroyed NPC ships. And especially, can we put them into a container box and sell them? If we can, what's the profit? So I'll be loading this pause into my Avenger Titan and use this as a boarding ship for the NPC ships. There we go, let's go. We got an A2. The Hercules components are physicalized. Corsair, especially Corsair components are physicalized. Problem with the Drake Corsair is uh, can we open the back ramp of the Drake Corsair? I know in 3.23 it is really hard to open the Drake Corsair's back ramp. So I'm gonna park the ship right here before I'm getting detected. Wait, what? Where is my fury? It's gone! Oh man. Well, we're just gonna have to do this the old fashioned way. Really close. Getting detected. Okay, enemies moving. F Eject. Oh, I see the ships is right there. Okay, that's EVA. Let's grab that A2. Oh, they are still flying around for some reason. Okay. Well, let's see if I can destroy that uh, Kangni from here. Yeah, destroyed one Starfarer right there. Oh yes, this Kangni is also destroyed. This is too difficult now. I cannot board that A2. I've been chasing these ships for a while. I couldn't. It's just trying to... Every time I get close, I just fly further away from me. I can't catch them. So the AI ships are getting smarter. They don't stand still anymore. Oh, I'm getting really close. Don't fly away. You can see he stops for about a few seconds, two, three seconds, and then start flying again. I will never be able to catch the ship EVA. -ing. Yep, no way I could uh, catch the ship. Okay, backspace. Okay, so this time I got this pause out in space successfully. I'm getting really close to the A2 and you can see the A2 is still moving around. It's not stopping at all. But it's not, I don't think it's detecting me. It's not aggro around me. Let me shoot this ramp first. Oh, ramp is opened. Okay. Time to fly inside. Oh, this is, uh, this is much more difficult now. He's moving around. And have to follow him closely until he stops for a few seconds. That will be my only window to move in. Let's go, let's go. Oh, it's moving again. Oh, okay, go, go. Oh, it's moving again. Okay, go, 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 go. Oh, it's moving again. Okay, go, 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 go. There we go. Ah, I got in, got in. Ooh. <laughs> nice. Oh, got some Weevil eggs here. Yeah, I'm getting shot at. From the Drake Corsair. Kill this guy. Okay. Oh. My ship is red. My hull is red. I need to need to kill the Drake Corsair. I forgot. This is master mode. The space combat is so slow. Oh, so slow. <laughs> slow motion. Very slow. Slowly rotating. Slowly rotating. 
Oh, come on. I'm falling asleep here. Alright, Jake was there self -dest. I want his components for this video. But I don't know if I can get it through the back ramp or not. I'm gonna shoot one one bullet at a time. Let's see if I can open the back ramp. One. Oh, it's uh, completely destroyed. Okay, I got some unknown here. I'm gonna EVA out, see if I can get his components. There we go. I got some components here. Let me see what. Medical supplies, the cargo, quads. No, the cargo are not that good. But the cooler, and I could get this cooler here. Get this power plant. You can see the health of these components. They are full. Oh, shield generator. I can't take it out. Dude, I really want that shield generator. Check the front part of the ship. Oh, we got more components. Good. So this is the front part of the ship. Got another power plant and another cooler. Okay, I can actually snap these components on the cargo grid of the ship. That's good. So, I got two power plants, two coolers, and one quantum drive from the Draco Sail. I couldn't get the shield generator out. And that's all I can do. Besides, I have a little Weevil Egg here. Is this Weevil Egg? Let me check. It looks very dirty. Yes, it's Weevil Egg. Alright, so let's go back to my hangar. Landed. Okay, so the problem for the A2 is uh, that I unlocked the ship port, but I think uh, these are the size 3 components. So I will not be able to tractor them out. And here as well. It's a very big component here. Power plant. Huge. So I don't think I can tractor it using this small tractor beam. It doesn't even let me highlight it. I don't know what CIG gonna do with these uh, size 3 components. They are physicalized, but uh, we cannot use them. So these are the size 2 components. Do not forget my Weevil Egg. This will become my hangar decoration. I'm gonna put it right here. And there is a bad guy. Okay, let's go. Oh! <laughs> it's gone. He got melted so fast. He's dead. This time he's dead dead. Wow. My security force is really doing their job. Good, good. Okay, now my job is to continue this video. Let's test this. Okay, so I'm gonna snap these. This is a power plant. It's called Daybreak. We got two Daybreaks. And this is the cooler called uh, Frost Star EX. And we got two of them as well. Okay, I snapped them all in my cargo grid. Lower elevator. Perfect! So I can store these components into my own hangar. I mean, my own warehouse. Now, let's check. Yeah, these are the one I bought. But this one is the one we just looted. Coolers. Oh, there we go. Frost Star EX. Power plants. Daybreak. There we go. These are the power plants. We just put it in. Yes, confirmed. Now I need to sell them. Let's go to Cousin's Crow. Power plant. What? Coolers. What? Quantum drive. What? I cannot sell the things that I looted. No. I can't sell the things I looted. Huh. Okay, let's try again. Sell. This is Orison. Yeah, I put everything in Orison. Local inventory. And I got two coolers over there. I actually got a lot of other different coolers. I can only sell one cooler here. This is not right. Quantum drives. I think there's something wrong with the selling options here. Either at Cousin's Crow or overall in the whole, the whole game. Not sure. Yeah, I have a lot more components other than these two. I cannot sell the one we looted. Alright, um, the only option is uh, we put them into a container and then let's take 
it to a cargo center. Let's see if we can sell that or not. Whoa! What the? What is going on in my hangar? <laughs> All right, now let's move those looted components into a container. So here is how you do it. First, you select those components. So bring this component into the freight elevator. Five components here. Now you go to find a container box that you bought. Okay, now you see there is a 1ACU self-storage container. Double click on it. It will open. And you can see this is the name of the mother container. If you want to exit out, you can simply go back to parent container or click this, close all containers. So double click, you open this container and then you simply move these components into this container. Oh, I think uh, this container is too small. Let's use a 2SEU container right here and then simply move this container to the freight elevator and then bring it up. Now, you can see these are the components, but you cannot drag those containers in and out of a container box. So the only way to move the components is through the freight elevator that I just showed you. I have not found another way that we can transfer those containers. I mean, those components. So we simply need to put this container in our ship and fly to the spaceport and go to the cargo center. And by the way, you can also put armors and weapons, FPS weapons and ship weapons here. But I don't know if we can sell the ship weapons and components. So this will be our test, be my first test for this thing. Let's call a ship. Wait a second, where is my box? Did I put it inside the yellow line? Oh, I think I made a terrible mistake. I put the box inside the yellow line. So when I call a ship, the box got cleared. It disappeared. So I lost all those loots. Everything. Well, that is a terrible mistake. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to call my own ship. Let's say a retaliator and destroy it and take its components. Let's uh, create another box of components. But this time I'm using my own ship. That was a stupid mistake. Actually, the retaliator is a really good ship to loot its components. If you see an enemy retaliator, be sure to loot it because retaliator has one of the best shield generators, quantum drive, maybe coolers, and six shield generators in there as well. All right, so this container contains most of the components from the retaliator. So five shield generators, one cooler, and uh, one quantum drive. And I forgot about the power plant. Well, let's just use this to test it, see if we can sell at the cargo center. But this time I'm gonna be very careful, move it outside the yellow line. Okay, leave it right here. Okay, arrived at uh, Seraphim station and just uh, leave this whole box inside your local inventory. Now, Let's see, can we sell the container or not? Click sell, 2.2K. Oh, I don't think we can sell the contents inside the container. We can only sell the container itself. The price for the components are zero. Well, it's uh, worth a try. If we cannot make money out of these components, at least we know that uh, we can loot from the NPC ships and we can use it on our own ship. We can either manually put these components on our own ship, which I have done so many times in my previous videos, or we can simply store them into our local inventory, just as what I did earlier, and then use your vehicle loadout manager to manually switch them. If we cannot make money out of these looted components, at least we can save money but I definitely think we should be able to sell these components, especially at uh, Cousins Crow. There must be some kind of bug 
Because this gameplay is really fun. You're not only destroying NPC ships, you are using creative ways to loot their components, loot their weapons, and then you sell it for the profits. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one.